For the first time, Action News Jax is hearing what life is like for former Congresswoman Corrine Brown in prison. She served one year of her five year sentence for fraud, and her attorneys are set to argue her appeal in less than 24 hours. Action News Jax Jenna Bourne spoke exclusively with Brown's spiritual advisor. I was there as Bishop Kelvin Cobaris got on this Mercedes limo bus with Corrine Brown on her way to prison. Today we caught up about what Brown's life has been like as an inmate and how she feels about her appeal. Bishop Kelvin Cobaris walked former Congresswoman Corrine Brown into Federal Corrections Institution Coleman's minimum security satellite camp, a prayer on his lips. Cobaris tells me he's visited Brown several times since then. Has prison changed her at all? I don't see a woman who is just in prison like, oh my God, this is the end of my life. She has taken this experience uh, as, a, as, as something for her, but also using the experience for also to help other people. Brown was sentenced last year to five years in prison for fraud, filing false tax returns, and more. She's accused of using a bogus charity as a slush fund while serving in Congress. On Friday, her attorneys will argue that the federal judge in Jacksonville was wrong to dismiss a juror who said the Holy Spirit told him Brown was innocent. How is she feeling about uh, her appeals case? In any opportunity to get it to rehear it again uh, that could lead her to an opportunity to be released from that facility. She's very positive about it. Over the past year, many viewers have asked why they haven't seen Brown's mugshot. Unlike county and state corrections facilities, federal prisons rarely release them to the public. Reporting, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax.